What is up, guys? It is Gamer here back again with uh, another another upload for Saturday? Um, for those of you who missed uh, my video that I uploaded really, really late last night, which I wouldn't be surprised of uh, if some people missed it. Uh, um, I'll try to leave a link in the description uh, to the video that I uploaded re uh, really, really late last night, and uh, I hope you guys do enjoy that video because it's something different from what I normally do on my channel. Um, it's still anime related. Um, but it is still a little bit different because it's a different anime from Dragon Ball. Even though I do kind of talk about Dragon Ball um, in the sense of Dragon Ball Evolution and how terrible that movie was. But that's whatever. We're not here to talk about Dragon Ball Evolution. We're here to talk about Dragon Ball Super and what just happened in episode 71 of Dragon Ball Super. Now, I didn't expect there to be much uh, in this episode. I just, I just figured that uh, it would... Uh, it would uh, show Goku being killed, and uh, obviously the one who who was to kill him was obviously the legendary assassin himself, uh, Hit. And uh, let's basically just start off from beginning to end, and also uh, next episode um, spoilers and stuff like that at the very end of the video. But basically, what had happened was is that uh, it starts off uh, the beginning of the episode with uh, Goku getting killed mysteriously by wh whoever the fuck this person can be, you know? Um, we see that Goku is killed. Piccolo, Goten, and Tr uh, not Trunks, I'm sorry. Um, Gohan are all there, they're surrounding him, and they're like in shock that, you know, Goku's dead. I mean, Gohan and Goten literally just, just see their fa father on the ground, motionless, and just, he's not breathing, he's not doing anything. And, uh... Then it cuts off to um, earlier that day before he had gotten killed by Hit, because we, we already know, uh, we already knew that it was going to be Hit pretty much from the beginning of uh, at the beginning of the episode. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, so basically, it's it, uh, after we see that Goku is killed, it goes back to the beginning of the day, and Goku isn't acting normal. He's acting very, very different from himself because he senses that someone is out there to basically take his life and kill him. But he wasn't telling anybody and he was trying to kind of sense out where he was. He was he was on guard pretty much the entire day and even when like even when he was just like walking around in the street for groceries with, for Chi Chi for like dinner and stuff like that. He he was super on guard. He was super tensed up and you know he's you know when Goku's really tensed up and like on guard and everything when he tries to dodge a punch from Bulma which if you if you're a fan of the Dragon Ball series you know that that normally doesn't happen unless for whatever reason Goku is on guard of something bad that will happen and the entire time throughout Goku's whole day he's on guard and Gohan and Goten are following him because they're worried about their dad you know they're worried that he, uh, they're worried because he's acting different and they're worried that something bad's gonna happen to him. And then uh, we go and cut off to some other like planet or something. I don't really know what this. No one really knows what this planet is. But basically, on this whole separate planet, there are a whole bunch of cities. And this one city, uh, Hit was hired to go and obviously kill someone. You know, because he's an assassin. So uh, he goes and kills someone. And then uh, I, uh, they, the person that had a necklace around them, he like put the fucking necklace on on the grave. I don't understand the whole point of that. But then um, this is actually uh, a teaser that I, I saw on Twitter and uh, a couple of other Dragon Ball YouTubers videos and stuff like that, uh, like like Geek the 101. And uh, basically, Hit pulls out like a hologram like body picture of Goku, and uh, he's smiling. He's smiling about it. He's like, oh. I, I get to kill him, you know, I get to kill this guy, huh? The guy that I fought at uh, the Universe 6 vs. 7 tur uh, tournament all that time ago, you know? And not only that, but um, Vegeta is noticing from uh, Whis uh, while they're training that Whis knows something about why Goku hasn't been showing up to train because Beerus is like, 
uh, Goku is like our number one uh, fighter. He's the leader of all our, of all of our fighters for this next tournament with uh, with Zeno, or uh, the King of All. And uh, he's he's uh, Beerus is really anxious about like the fact that Goku hasn't been around to train with Whis and becoming stronger. So he's telling Whis like make sure that he's getting his uh, his training so that he can become stronger so that he he can obviously win the tournament, right? And Vegeta, the whole time, is noticing that Whis knows something. He knows something, and he knows uh, why Goku hasn't been showing up to go and train with uh, with Whis himself. And uh, this is actually a theory that I saw on Twitter, and uh, I feel like I feel like this is what makes what makes the most sense right now. And and people are speculating on Twitter and stuff like that. Like Whis hired uh, uh, Whis is the one who hired Hit to go out and kill Goku through Vados, which uh, if you. If you don't know for some reason. Vados is Whis' sister, and uh, she uh, uh, is the angel to uh, the god of destruction over at Universe 6. And just, you know, the, she could basically just hire anybody and anyone in Universe 6, to, uh, like, th through just whatever, through her staff or whatever. And so she hired, uh, she hired Hit, uh, 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 Whis hired Hit through Vados, and basically Hit was just, saw, uh, was a, uh, was asked to go and kill Goku. Now, why he was asked to go and kill Goku, uh, we don't know. We don't know as of yet the reason why uh, Hit was hired to go and kill Goku. Maybe it's for like some special training, or maybe they just they just uh, need him to be out uh, for like some for some big important thing. I have no idea, and I'm actually very very anxious for the next episode next week. So, uh, or probably not next week because uh, it will be uh, Christmas uh, next next week on the 24th and the 25th. So we might not have another episode of Dragon Ball Super until probably January, I feel like. Uh, but I will update you guys on that um, wh whenever I get the chance to. I promise, I promise, I promise. Um, but no. Um, and then then we cut over to Goku. He's chilling out because they had they just had dinner and stuff like that. And he senses hit. He senses that hit is near him, and now he's out to go and take his life. And so, I'm sorry, I have a, I have a sneeze coming on right now. I'm probably not gonna be able to. Uh, I'll cut it out if I eventually do sneezing. I apologize for that. But um, uh, but um, hit is near. Goku is getting ready to fight for his life, basically. And so he goes out. He goes out to basically the middle of fucking nowhere and then he meets hit hit is there and goku is there and uh the entire time hit is saying like uh he's saying the whole time that there's basically no uh there's basically it's basically pointless that uh it's basically pointless for goku to try to defend himself because hit uh developed this new technique and apparently he can like physically just to kill anybody with one punch and you would think well that's not a shocker because of his time skip abilities you know because of his time skip he can just kill anybody with one punch but that's the thing though he says himself that it isn't time skip hit the uh, hit himself develop a new technique where he can fight without uh with, he can kill anybody with one punch without using his time skip and now why is that technique you may ask uh, I don't know. I, I don't know everything. Uh, if you want to find out maybe more information about what his new, te new technique is, um, I'll say it again. Just go over to Geek the 101's channel because he, uh, in the community, uh, in my opinion, is basically the Dragon Ball uh, guru on basically anything and everything Dragon Ball related. Or related. But um, yeah, Hit kills Goku with one punch. Literally with one punch, like One Punch Man. Yes, I know. But he kills him, and Goku's just there, motionless. Like just he, He's not moving, you know? Piccolo, Gohan, and Goten, excuse me, uh, they see that he's just there. I'm sorry, someone was at my was at my bedroom door. I apologize for that. But anyways, what was I talking about? Alright. Piccolo, Gohan, and Goten. They see Goku. 
he's there and he's dead and they just don't know what to do uh goten is screaming out father and he's crying he's upset they're all upset you know because they they see gohan and goten they see their father and piccolo his friend just there dead not doing anything and they, they don't know what to do you know and it's it's very very it's very very sad but we already know because Dragon Ball logic, uh, Go- Goku isn't going to stay dead for very long because of the Dragon Balls and stuff like that. Or, um, or actually, if you really think about it, uh, Piccolo can just do what he did to, to Gohan back in uh, the, the Resurrection F saga. Remember when, uh, um, or was this the movie? I think this was just a movie. But um, in the movie, the Resurrection F saga, uh, Piccolo puts his uh, hand on Gohan's chest and like sends off like a surge of energy and uh it starts back up gohan's heart so he uh he's uh alive and i feel like that's what's gonna happen i don't think they're gonna need to use the dragon balls or anything that's just that's just what i think because that kind of makes the most logical sense like at that moment but i don't know we'll have to see in the next episode dragon ball super um i will say that and oh yeah by the way uh, I know I'm rambling on because now I have food in front of me and I really want to eat. I'm sorry. But um, I'm only going to talk a little bit about uh, the end of the, the episode with the next episode's spoilers and stuff like that. The reason why I say that Goku isn't going to stay dead for very long, and I don't mean it's up until the next arc starts or anything. No. I literally mean like the next episode he's going to be alive. Watch. Because at the end of the episode's spoilers... He's there fighting Hit again. He's there fighting Hit again, but, um, you know, all this crazy dumb bullshit is happening. But not only that, we see Barris. Now, why do we see Barris? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see, like I said. Um, I apologize that this episode of, of my Dragon Ball Super reviews isn't, like, as, like, in depth, really, I feel like. It's because um, it's really. I'm just I'm just getting distracted by everything. Uh, someone, uh, my grandmother was at the door. She handed me food and stuff like that, and I was very grateful of that. And I really want to eat because I haven't eaten too much today because I've been working on uh, some stuff for today. Not today, but like just videos and stuff like that. But um, and tomorrow. Uh, you will not see an upload, and probably for the rest of the week, you probably won't see an upload until I like find something I really, I really, really want to upload, which might be. Actually, no, I might actually upload tomorrow because I actually want to upload some uh, some gameplay of Xenoverse Two uh, tomorrow. And I actually just remembered on the twentieth, uh, the first DLC pack for Xenoverse Two comes out. And I really want to show. I want. I really want to show you guys uh, some content from that. And I feel like you guys are gonna enjoy that uh, a lot. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and wrap up the video now because I'm just rambling on at this point. If you guys uh, did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe for future videos like this and, be, and possibly maybe some future Naruto uh, videos and stuff like that because I did make a Naruto video uh, last night. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I will leave a link to that. Uh, I will leave a link to the description uh, for that video so you guys can just go just go hear about what uh, a live action movie for Naruto. But anyways, this is, this is the end of the video. Uh, leave your comments and stuff like that. Uh, what do you think is going to happen in the next episode? Drop a like in the video. Like I said, if you enjoyed, subscribe to your content like this. Um, also, um, I'm sorry. Uh, also, not only that, but I also want you guys to have a wonderful day. A wonderful, happy, um, awesome day. And uh, have also uh, a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays because um, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, I'm sorry, uh, next week, um, I I can already tell that it's probably not going to be an episode because of the holidays and stuff like that. Um, Because, like I said, like I said, the holidays, just everything, you know, I feel like that because of that, we're not going to have, we're not going to have an episode next week. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and just say, uh, Merry Christmas and stuff like that. I will uh, make another video uh, uh, saying Merry Christmas and stuff like that. Just because that's what I did last year. And uh, just, yeah, just go ahead.
Drop a like, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Have an awesome, wonderful day. I'll see you later. Peace out.